hi everyone welcome to my channel again in this tutorial we will see uh, how to work with attribute data in QGIS and also we will try to uh, see how to join um, layers in QGIS and also we will try to normalize our attribute data so uh, open your ArcGIS software um, and uh, add your attribute data or uh, a polygon data with attributes so here i am going to work with my uh, districts so i'm just adding the data by using this browser panel or you can just add your data just by going to your uh, director so here is open data source you can go this way or i'm just going with uh, this browser by panel so just drag and drop it on the map and this is my uh, districts and I am going to uh, analyze attribute data on this uh, layer so finally we will see how to create a coroplate map using uh, attribute data in this map so if you check the attribute of uh, this layer it has uh, this inter interest the first one for example region name this is data uh, from Ethiopian regions this is SNNP or South Nation Nationality and Peoples so it has a region name for each polygon yeah for example and uh, it has a region code a zone name zone code Warada name Warada code and uh, finally it has area which is calculated in uh, a square mile so our aim is here uh, and i have another layer which has a population population information for each uh, district is from this data so i am going to add uh, the population layer which is in csv format and join uh, the population attribute with this uh, uh, layer so uh, first you have to prepare your data here i have i have this information which is population for each uh, word code from this uh, map here as as you have seen we have this word name and the word code for this layer and uh, similarly i have uh, word code in the population of each word in CSV Excel comma delimited CSV format so first we need to add those uh, data in order to join or link the attribute so again go to this open data uh, source and uh, switch to this uh, add delimited text layer and uh, from the file format you have to Take this CSV comma delimited file format, and uh, from the geometry definition, you have to select no geometry or attribute only table because this the attribute do not have any uh, x y or latitude longitude information. Just it has uh, a table information only, so you have to uh, select this no geometry or attribute only data in the CSV file format. So and uh, go to your directory and add your uh, CSV data so here is it then after uh, click add in order to uh, bring to the panel layer so here have word hood in the population information so our aim is adding this population to this uh, in layer so we have similar unique identifier on uh, the two layers which is word code i have this code in the same layers so in this also i have word code so by using this unique identifier we are going to link these two layers so to do so uh, go to this processing and open uh, toolboxes i have already opened it this one and from this uh, go to vector general tab then select join attribute by field field value 
and from this uh, input layer one will be uh, the our original image or original uh, layer then the table field i'm going to use is similar <coughs> the similar unique identifier that we have on both uh, layer which is uh, word code in my case again input layer to is the population and in table field will be uh, word code because this is a unique identifier for uh, the two layers the another one layer two field to copy so here i am going to select uh, population from the mm, first layer so uh, go to this one and select population and press ok and uh, give output value and this is population population layer and I check that we have selected jpkg file format and the save Finally, we can run and if you check the attribute of the joint layer, we have additional information which is population information. So this is a population for each uh, district. So we have done the first task which is joining uh, attribute tables then uh, I'm going to calculate population density for each uh, district so to calculate the population density select the layer from this and go to vector table from this select uh, field calculator double click on it and the uh, input layer will be the population data or uh, district information with population uh, attribute and the field name will be population population density yeah population density float I'm gonna to use Mm, two after then under the expression go to this uh, field and the values so as you know the formula for population density calculation is population or total population over uh, area uh, so select population field and I use this symbol then over select area this will calculate the population density mm, person per uh, square mile person per square mile because my area is calculated in square mile and the population in person so this output will give you the population number or density of population or person per persons per uh, square mile so run this expression and we have uh, calculated population layer here and if you check the attribute of this layer we have new uh, layer or new column which is population density so I have added this layer you can just remove uh, from the map we can also do need yeah so this is my uh, population density layer so by using this we can create a population density map using coroplate map to do so uh, right click on this and uh, go to the property of the layer from this uh, select symbology uh, simply you can classify this image as using this gra graduate symbol and uh, the value will be population density layer population density and uh, you can select color lamp uh, go to the all color lamps and from this select yellow orange and red this is the most widely used uh, color combination 
and uh, for different rooms of different uh, data classification techniques or classification algorithms we have quantiles equal interval logarithmic scale and the natural bricks i'm going with this default the quantiles one this divides the data into equal uh, counters and uh, we can increase and decrease the number of classes here i'm going with six classes then apply finally we get this kind of uh, colorful corporate map of my uh, district so this shows uh, the highest and the lowest populated areas for my uh, this specific area so this red color or dark red shows highly populated area and this white yellow shows the uh, less populated area so yes you can uh, prepare corporate map or uh, population density map like uh, this so finally if you want uh, to create the layout map you can go to the project and the new print layout i have shown this in my first tutorial you can select this part of the uh, layout and go to the image property from this you can select different sizes uh, the orientation of the paper and the size of the paper and to add your map to this uh, layout go to add item and add map so you can make uh, your final layout map by adding all uh, the necessary map elements and you can export your map as a pdf and you can make more interactive map using this guys the software so this is all about my today's tutorial thank you for your time and don't forget to subscribe to my channel